Hi, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, Bob Corker says he hasn't ruled out running for president in 2016. But while nearly a dozen Republican hopefuls have been testing the field in Iowa, Corker hasn't been among them. The senator hasn't planned any trips to early primary states and hasn't been in talks with major donors. He says his wife Elizabeth may be wary of the intense media attention and scrutiny a presidential candidate takes on. Corker says any decision on the matter will wait until next year. Downtown Chattanooga was evacuated after a bomb threat at the city's tallest building on Wednesday. Around 2.20 p.m., a caller said there were multiple explosives inside the Republic Center. Police closed an entire city block and cleared out the building for about two hours. No explosives were found, and police don't have any suspects in the case. Remember this? A video of firefighters doing the disco to stay alive? Well, the Chattanooga Fire Department shot the video last summer, and since then it's been shared hundreds of thousands of times on social media. Now it's helped save a man's life a thousand miles away. 51-year-old Scott Madsen of Minnesota says he was in a park two weeks ago when he saw a man collapse. Some bystanders were trying to do CPR but couldn't get it right. That's when he suddenly remembered the Staying Alive video. Matson took control and started snapping to the beat for the chest compressions. Soon the man's color began to improve, and by the time he was loaded into the ambulance, he was talking again. A man has been charged with DUI after a school bus crash in northeast Alabama. The crash happened around 7 a.m. Tuesday in Henniger. The bus came to a stop and a car behind it slowed down as well. But then a truck rear-ended the car, which became wedged under the school bus. The woman in the car was taken to the hospital. 28-year-old Pedro Francisco was arrested. An execution date has been set for a man who burned his girlfriend alive in Hamilton County. Lee Hall was convicted of first-degree murder for the death of his ex-girlfriend in 1991. He threw gasoline on 22-year-old Tracy Crozier as she sat in her car. He then set her on fire. He's scheduled to be put to death on January 12, 2016. A police officer responding to a fender bender in Dalton saved the life of a nearby baby. Officer Michael Houck was responding to a crash on Foster Street when someone came up to him speaking frantically in Spanish. One of the drivers in the crash acted as a translator and told Houck that a baby was choking. The officer ran to the scene and found the baby wasn't crying or breathing. Houck turned the baby over and applied back thrusts until it coughed up a piece of carrot. Medical officers checked out the baby and say it's in good condition. Lee University says it will not be adding a football program in the near future. After an 18-month study, the board didn't think the timing was right. After all, the school is starting a nursing program this year. President Paul Kahn says there's plenty of enthusiasm for football at Lee and that he'd enjoy seeing it played at the university. He says the school will take another look at adding football in five more years. Finally, the Tennessee Aquarium is being hailed as genius after naming one of its otters after Benedict Cumberbatch. The aquarium asked Facebook users to help name the critter, and commenters overwhelmingly voted for Benedict. Now, online news sites like The Daily Dot and Jezebel have picked up on it, and many people are hoping the actual Benedict will come and meet his namesake. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 88 degrees. The low tonight will be around 63. That's it for today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more of these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.